So in this video, I would like to share with you how to make some self-assessment tools for the student. And in this presentation, uh, I showed you the product. So you will see that now they will choose the question and then they can click on this to create the red light. Okay, and then now level one question. Okay, so I just mixed the multiple choice question type so they can just click on the option and then they got the answer okay they will go to the original page and the student cannot randomly click on something like they cannot click on any way up to move on no they can only choose the correct answer then we can go to the next level so assume they have finished all of them then they will go to level eight and you will see this is uh, what they see at the end and end it and you can let the student do their own study with this and what do i mean is can always add the explanation okay so for example here now i would like to add the questions like this is going to be 3x plus 2 equals to 7 okay and then you have to solve it and then we know that that is equals to 5 and then x equals to 3 and this one is x equals to 1 x equals to uh, 5 over 3 and then let's see so when they go to this one maybe we want to give them some hint Okay, and what are these hints? It can be, okay, some hints are like try to change the subject first. Okay, so we can have something like this. And then, congratulations, we can also do it. Okay, very good. Like this. Okay, you can create it with the Apple Pencil. And then we can always uh, delete the, the type here, and then we can see it now. We click into this one and we will see that this is the question and then the student choose on this one and then it tells you the hint and then you will see that unless they touch the correct answer then you got it okay and for level two again you can create your own questions like this and then you can just do it like this and all the time you will see that now for different question they should have got different link so this link should be corresponding to this accordingly so I guess you will see that uh, it is a simple uh, work for you to modify. And I guess uh, you will see that we can gradually increase the difficulty. So for example, this time it is not like 3x. Maybe this time it is going to be 3x plus uh, 5 equals to 4x minus 2. Okay, so you got unknown on both left hand side and right hand side and you got all the options so you got x equals to seven so because i'm so lazy i just keep all the answer here okay but you you can create your own uh keynote and then you can make your word easier or make it uh, more complicated it depends on you so for the try again part you can also change it maybe you want to uh, group the light term okay you, you would like to remind the student okay so you can have something like this and then once they do it and you can put a tag like this or you can draw something to encourage the student and next one like this one now you can always uh, create your own question and then remember just make sure that the link you change it okay to corresponding one so this is 10 and this one should be 10 as well with a link here so I hope this one can give you an idea how can you make good use of this and if you want to okay if you want to you can actually ask the student okay to okay take a photo or so take video so the recording here what does it mean okay so you can go to uh, here first of all remember for this presentation choose it the type should be link only okay not normal okay and then second issue will be like this okay you can got the setup and then you can change it uh, depends on your idea but what we would like to change will be added the slide layout and then just now like that one right here this one actually we can change the edit like this this is the blank one so we can add the live video so we can make sure that the student okay they try to take the uh, photo or take the video all together okay with them so what does it mean it means that now 
when they try to work on their work, okay, then you will always see that there will be their face. Okay, for example, if they're doing it like this, then you can see their face as well. Okay, so I hope this one can give you some idea. How can you make good use of this keynote?